I want to thank Mr. Doggett for, for this amendment, um, and I'm happy to have been able to work with him on this um, to support folks in my district that I've talked to, like Jessica. Um, earlier this year, I had the opportunity to meet with a young mother named Jessica. She works at Starbucks and has been enrolled in, a in their college achievement plan since January. Um, she told me that given her extremely tight household budget, that she would not be able to attend college without this program. But having to pay taxes for receiving employer-provided tuition benefits, which is what the bill would do, would be very hard for her, potentially putting college out of reach. So it's for people like Jessica that are trying to make a better life for themselves and their families, their children, through education. That section 127, um, that would needs to be expanded, not eliminated, which is proposed in the bill. This amendment would help fix that. In fact, it's a, we have bipartisan support to expand that, bipartisan support from Republicans on this committee. Um, so it's very unfortunate that we have a piece of legislation that proposes repealing Section 127. Um, my colleagues will probably say that corporate cuts will lead to growth, and then these students and their families will see so much wage growth that um, they won't need these benefits anymore. But even very conservative economists don't believe that. Um, the former economic policy, policy advisor to John McCain said, quote, I'm a very conservative economist. I would love it if tax cuts pay for themselves, but I'm also someone who looks at the numbers, and there's just no evidence that tax cuts actually pay for themselves." Um, end quote. Um, the fact is, if we want to help students and families succeed for generations to come, we have to invest in making quality education affordable and accessible for everyone across this country. This bill not only drives up the debt, and when they drive up the debt, it makes it almost certain that Republicans are going to be taking a sledgehammer to education and job training programs, um, just like the president recommended in his budget. But, um, but this is also a complete miss when it comes to giving hardworking people a fair chance at success. So I urge my colleagues to support this amendment, and I yield back.